So, so I'm starting right now, and most of my mind is still filled in the head. It's, not, it's got a lot of heart coming through, but it's still in my head too because it's monitoring. And every time you create anything, you're going to start from your head, right? You start monitoring. So when you write your book or you write your story or you want to do a project or whatever, you're going to start writing, and you're going to be like, is this good? Write while you're writing. So you're, I'm, I want to write a book. And the first thing your mind does is says, how? We don't have anything to talk about, which, by the way, first of all, is such BS. No matter what age you are, you have unlimited books you can write and unlimited experience because every single thing you've done ever is your belief system, and you could write a book about it. So whether you've had a 30-year marriage that's been amazing or for 30 years you've asked people out and got rejected a million times, both of them are a story. So you could do a book on how to have a relationship that's amazing. You could do a book on how to handle rejection. You could do a book on how to ask people out. You could do a book about how to be confident. And the only difference between a guy who's complaining to his wife about a movie he saw and Roger Ebert is Roger Ebert just did it into a camera. Does that make sense? You have unlimited abilities. And one of the biggest problems is we start off by going, how? And when you ask, how do I do this? Your mind goes, well, let's look at what's been done. And so you look through this old pattern of things that have been done, and you try to be like other people, and you overlook the other part of you that's just unlimited creativity. How cuts off your ability to just be this? You are this. There's nothing to do. I swear to God, there's no difference between you and Martin Luther King. It's just a matter of doing it. It's just a matter of showing up. But stop saying how. When you say how, the answer is kill the part of you asking how. Because how is saying how, and it's looking at all the things that have been done. So you do things that are all formulaic because that worked before, but it's not before anymore. So you're overlooking all this originality. 92 million songs have been written. Infinite songs haven't. So stop when you go, I want to write a song. Okay, well, this chord works, and this chord sells, and this chord will get people to like me. I want to do a business. Well, this marketing tactic works, or I know if I blast this, or I keep Facebook and I blast to them this way because this guy did that years ago, that'll work. No, that's, that's just working. And by the way, when you say that works, that's you getting. This is really big. You can do so much more when you stop trying to get. Don't try to get anymore. This is coming through because I'm not in a place of wanting anything from you. I'm not in a place of hoping you like me. I'm in a place of just wanting to be like the sun. This is coming out. And you go, how do you do that? I wish I could do that. I wish I could get there. You're there all day when you're at a restaurant. You don't have a set list. When you're, when you're at a bar, you just talk, and people have rapport with you. So it's weird when we go, I'm going to go on stage, and we think this is different. And the reason you think this is different is because you think that the crowd completes you, which means you think that you're incomplete without the crowd. And we do this with everything. Every movie says you complete me, which means I'm incomplete without you, right? So we're starting ourselves from lack because I'll be normal. I'll have a nice day. And then the second my girlfriend walked by, I was a normal person. I was at you know, the store like, hey, this is good, blah, blah, blah. And this girl walks by, and I'm like, you, you like corn, bacon, fish, fat? You can't talk all of a sudden. <laughs> because I immediately want her. And if I want her, that means I don't have. So you've got to stop wanting anything. Because if you want people to like you, you've got to just stop wanting them. Because people want to be with someone that's in alignment with their self that's just connected to themselves. And the only how I can give you is when people say, well, how do I get to there? How do I get to connecting with myself? I say this, you have two voices in you all the time. There's two voices we have. It's the weirdest thing. The first voice comes out and it says, it has a feeling. It goes, we should leave this company or we should, we should ask that person out or we should leave this relationship. It's a feeling. It can't tell you why because you've never done it. So when you're looking for proof of that, it won't work because you don't have any evidence of it. But it feels good the second you think about it. So that's a preview. It says when you leave the company, you'll feel good. But usually when you feel that, a second voice comes in and it's always here and it's learned and it's your parents and it's things that you t were taught in the news and everything like that. And it comes up with why you shouldn't. And it's the stupidest reason. The first voice will be like, we should leave this company. I feel something. And the second voice goes, yeah, but if we do, we can't go to the Cheesecake Factory party next week. So, we should leave this relationship. Yeah, but you are going to go camping together in two months. So, you should probably stay against your soul and against your grain and then eventually be camping with this person that you don't want to be with. So what we don't understand is the first voice always says, let's do this thing. And what we don't understand is the reason it says that we want to do this thing and the mind comes in is the mind can only measure what you will lose. It can't measure what you will gain. Do you understand that? The mind can see. Thank you, both of you. The mind can see. 
The mind can see what it will lose. For instance, you guys are open enough to have a little faith that something amazing would happen at Awesomeness Fest, that you'd be open. This is very rare in our planet. There's many people that need to see what they'll get before they do anything. So they don't know. So their mind just comes up with, well, it would be a week off. I'd have to get on a plane. I'd have to pay for airfare. I'd have to do all this stuff. I'd have to get a babysitter. And their mind just measures the loss. It doesn't know I could find the love of my life there. I could, find, I could make a million dollars with someone. I could create something. I could come up with one idea that Vishen said, that, a suggestion that really helped me. No one thinks of that. They just think of the loss. So people that are thinking more from the mind, they don't get to live because they're immediately blocking the part of them that's guiding them. We, this thing is guidance. This feeling is guidance. Mm -hmm.